What is up my friends, so let's talk about IT which just broke a lot of records and it made a whopping 120 million dollars at the box office over the weekend. A lot to be cheered on for horror. Now there's a lot of haters out there and I've seen it on my IT ending explained. This is not your typical horror movie, this is a coming of age movie with horror elements to it. So anyways, let's talk about it. what exactly is IT because I've seen a lot of people ask this question. This might have some minor spoilers for you for the book and also for the possible sequel that's on its way. So spoilers ahead of maybe, I'm not sure if they're gonna go exactly this route but I'm just warning you right now there could be spoilers so what the hell is it and what does it represent well this is the first thing I have to address is that it really isn't meant to be a demon or monsters of sorts more of an interdimensional being shapeshifter think of the Bogart from Harry Potter it can turn into whatever frightens you the most but Pennywise the clown really isn't its true form so I don't know what these clowns that were today on the Today Show talking about when they were saying that this is giving them a bad name. The clowns have always been scary, haven't they? No, its true form is actually something called the dead lights and it is composed of orange lights. It's said that if you look directly into them, you will go insane. Although many people and characters in the book and in the miniseries have looked at them and they've just been fine. But for the most part, you will not want to look at this. Beb in the movie, the It reboot actually looked into them and this is where she got a vision of sorts. More on that later though. Its true form is actually unfathomable to humans and the closest we get to it is a giant spider as we saw in the second part of the miniseries. The Loser Club, now as adults, have a final battle with It and in its final form it turns into a giant spider. We also have to know that it existed even before our own universe in another area called the Macroverse. I feel like at this point I'm starting to lose some people. Hold on to your heads. We're about to get even more hoobie-ish in here. So with it existing even before our own time, how did it even show up in our world? Well, we're going to, have to talk about some aquamarine life, more exactly turtles. Yes, turtles. Its nemesis is actually a giant turtle. Crazy, I know. Yes, that horrific clown thing we all fear has a fear for a giant turtle called Matarin, I believe I'm saying that right, that basically threw up our entire universe and countless others. The two represent two big ideologies, creation and consumption. These two beings came from an oniopient force called the Other and are eternal enemies. So how exactly did it come to our world then? Well, it's not really known, but a theory goes that he came here on an asteroid during prehistoric times in what is now Derry, Maine, where our main story takes place. Since then, he has just been terrorizing its inhabitants. The question is, why every 27 years? Well, we'll talk more about that in a future video I'm making, where I will also be discussing the timeline of it, from its arrival on this world, to where we are now with the Losers Club, and what the possible sequel has to offer. We'll also be talking more about the giant turtle in that book, and where he fits into this whole storyline and what could that mean for a possible sequel anyways that's a little behind the scenes on what it actually is and where he came from more on that on part two of the video which will come out tomorrow so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that video and know more about it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe if you haven't already comment below let me know what you think about it do you think the sequel will do a good part in representing this or do you think they're going to change it up let me know i'd like to know but as always i hope you enjoyed this i'll see y'all next time stay positive